Welcome back to Gordon's channel. In this lesson, we will deploy our website to the internet. And we will use two free hosts. One of them is GitHub Pages and the other one is Netify. So first of all, we will go to the GitHub Pages website and we will need to sign up for uh, creating a GitHub account. So there will be username, email and password. So for the username, uh, it will be our subdomain name. So uh, the website will be like this. So for example, if the username is Gogo Gordon, then the uh, subdomain name will be gogogordon.github.io. So here the uh, username is the subdomain name. So here let's create, um, use a meaningful domain name as possible. So it is possible that the username is taken. So let's try to uh, Epson hyphen, for example. So after it is available, we can uh, enter the email. And then the password. Uh, uh, and sign up. So here we have created account. And then we can, uh, we need to verify the account. So let's go to check the inbox. Yeah, you need to verify the puzzle to be a real person. That's the Spyro Galaxy. So this one. So it is drawn a free pen. Now uh, it says, welcome us to GitHub. And we receive this email, which is asking us to verify the email address. So we need to click this link. So now we have verified the email. And now we can start to uh, create a repository. So here, when we create a repository, we need to uh, go to click the button here. So there is a plus button here. When we click on it, we can choose new repository. So after choosing new repository, we can have the owner name, which is our username, and then the repository name. So we can uh, customize our repository name, but if we want the, re the website URL to have no um, other, other uh, route, we need to use this, this one as the um, repository name. So we need to follow the begin with the username to do this. And then we need to use uh, .github.io. So .github.io. So if you use this, if you use it in this format, the username .github.io, then we can have the website uh, without any route. So now we need to choose it as public because otherwise it cannot be um, a uh, GitHub uh, pages. And we can choose the Remy, Ignore, and the License. So we can choose them. For example, um, let's choose the MIT. All right. So after creating the repository button, we will wait a little while and we are inside this interface. So we have the Remy and the License. And now we can start to add the file. So we can uh, do it inside uh, our local and then use the Git, or we can use the F file. And we can use the test editor. If we use the create new file, then it will be a test editor. So we will input the uh, file name here and we can input the script, copy the and paste the script here. And this is one of the way. And there is another way, which is to upload. So if we choose the F file and then from the drop-down, we choose upload files, then it will be a simple drag and drop. So we can go to our folder and we can choose all the files in the folder. And for the um, for the HTML file, it usually previously is named to do.html, and now it must be named index.html. Otherwise, uh, after you access the website, it will not uh, prompt the web page. So the web HTML file must be named as index.html. And after that, we can choose everything and drag drag to the place. And now it is uploading. So after uploading all the files, uh, so I'm using a relative path. So I have uh, also included a full calendar, but actually you can uh, skip this part because we can use the import 
from the CDN. So now it takes some time to process the file, and we can wait for it a little bit. Now it has finished uploading, so we have the uh, index HTML, the CSS, and the JavaScript file. And this folder it is optional. If here you use the uh, local local uh, relative path, then we need to include the full calendar library. If we use the uh, CDN, then we don't need to uh, include the full calendar files. And now we need to go to the setting of this repository. So here we need to go to the setting here. Not the account setting, but the repository setting. And here we can see that we have the repository name, which is this one. We can rename it. And we have features. And if we scroll down, we can find a GitHub pages. So here we have the GitHub pages, and it is already uh, make it um, published. So now we can see that the website is to do this app.github.l. So if we click on it, we can go to our to do this app so with this URL. So this is how to use the uh, GitHub pages. And and then I want to introduce Netlify. So first of all, we go to the Netlify web page, which is the www.netlify.com. And after that, we still need to uh, sign up an account. So let's click it. Now we can choose which method to um, sign in to Netlify. If we choose GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket, then it can uh, get the source code from the uh, repository. But let's say if we choose the register with email. So let's choose the register with email. So we need to input our email, which is this one. And now we need to enter a password. So let's use the suggested password. And let's not update. Now we can, uh, we need to go to check the email and verify the email. So we need to go to check the email and verify it. So now this is uh, the verified, uh, verified uh, window. So we can close this one and we can continue from here. So it will, uh, Teach us how to deploy. So actually, it is very simple, and so we is um, just drag and drop again. So here I don't have connect to my uh, GitHub account, so I need to uh, use the drag and drop. So I can um, choose the drag and drop here. So I can create a new site, new site from Git. If I choose new site from Git, I need to have the GitHub. So let's not choose new sites from Git. Let's choose drag and drop. So here, want to so here in the sites, when I click on sites, we can see want to deploy a new site without connecting to a Git drag and drop your site folder here. So again, this is a simple drag and drop. So. Again, I need to uh, make sure that the HTML file, the name of the HTML file is index.html, and then I can drag the everything and drop here. So make, make sure you have draw and folder with index.html. So I need to drag drop the whole folder. So in the GitHub page, I go into the project directory and I drop the files. But for the Netlify, it is slightly different. So I need to uh, drop this folder. So let's drop this folder into this here. So the dropping song, I have dropped the folder. So now it has uh, uploaded the file and it is waiting and it is deployed. And the website is this one. So the uh, domain is netify.app. And the previous subdomain is a random text generated by netify. So if I so I can click on it and check it. So this is the uh, uh, with the subdomain. So I can see my uh, to do this app on the internet with a uh, generated subdomain. But if I don't want it, I can also change it. So I need to go to uh, site setting. 
So I have the site name here. So if I don't like this subdomain, I can go to site setting and make sure that it is this one, site setting. And here we have the site name and we can change site name. So we can click change site name and we can choose. So let's say, for example, if I want to choose to do this app and try it, oh, because it is already taken, so we can try to add some uh, hyphen. No, again. So add one hyphen again. Oh, it is taken again. So let's try it. So to do this app tutorial. So this is to do this app tutorial. Now the site name is changed. So if we go back to site overview, you can see that the URL is updated. So if we click open in new tab, then we can see that our uh, uh, app is working on a, a better URL. So the subdomain is chosen, chosen by ourselves inside site setting. So uh, after uh, introducing both the GitHub pages and the Netlify, I want to um, compare them. So what is the main difference between them? So first of all, um, they're both free of charge. So if uh, this site is idled for a while, then uh, the server will uh, save the resource and make it idle. And when a new visitor tries to access this URL, it will ha need to uh, take a few seconds to, uh, for it to awake. So that is uh, the main problem of uh, free host. And the, the other difference is that, for example, in the GitHub pages one, when we have used uh, uh, it on the internet, we have all the source code uh, being public. So here, if the people go to our GitHub account, and then they can uh, get go to, into our repository, and they can check our source code. So this is um, the uh, issue with GitHub pages. So all the source code is open to public. And if we choose the choose it to be private, so in when we um, create a repository, we can choose private. But if it is a private repository, then it cannot uh, be used for GitHub pages. So it must be a public repository. And for the Netlify, the, uh, the, uh, the source code is not uh, in a GitHub page, in a, the source code is not deployed, it's not disclosed. So uh, this is the main difference between the GitHub pages and Netlify. So, Thank you for your time. Look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Thank you. Bye-bye.